For today's project, we will be making some brass end caps on our CNC tag mini lathe. Let's take a quick look at our tool setup for this project. We will be making the part from one and a quarter inch brass stock. We've already bored out the center of the stock to five eighths of an inch. This was done to allow for internal turning with our mini boring bar. We have the boring bar mounted at the back of our X stage and we have a parting tool mounted to the front of the stage. Normally we choose an appropriately sized collet to hold our stock. Unfortunately this part is a little too large so in order to accommodate it we instead have mounted our three jaw chuck. Now we will quickly switch over to SolidWorks and show the part we will be making. This is a custom end cap we will be turning from our brass stock. The part will require both internal and external turning steps to complete the design. If we open the sketch here you can see a section view of the part. We will export this sketch and save it as a DXF then import it into our CAM program. This is just a quick video clip of the CAM software we use to generate the G-code. We just want to demonstrate the steps involved in turning a drawing to machine code that our lathe can run. For this part we are using the eCAM software package. We are currently using version 2. I believe they have some newer versions out now. We have already imported our DXF file and generated our tool paths for this part. Here you can see the tool path for the internal boring bar. And here is the tool path for our external turning tool. We will use the same tool to part off our part. When we first were testing, we had some issues doing a straight cutoff. So we created a small grooving path instead to allow some clearance on the cutter. This should help avoid any binding. Ecamm has a nice simulation tool where you can visualize the steps of each tool path. We attempted to demonstrate it here, but it didn't work with the, having the screen recorder running at the same time. So we'll skip this step and just go straight ahead to generating the G-code. Here you can see uh, we click on the G-code button and it creates a TXT file with the machine code. Anyways, let's get to making some parts. The first machining step in the program is done with our internal boring bar. We will speed up the video a bit so you can enjoy watching the machine in action. The CAM program generates a roughing pattern for each profile and then afterwards completes a finishing pass at a slower speed. The program is obviously not optimized for production speed. There are improvements that could be made to reduce the time per part. However, sometimes when you're only making a few parts, you're not too worried about speed. You just want to avoid making mistakes. The final step involves making a parting cut. As mentioned earlier, we had issues with the part jamming when we were making a deep cutoff, so instead we switched to a slower grooving path. This is much slower, but at least we aren't breaking any tools. We also later increased the depth of this parting cut to leave a nice clean face cut. And here's the final products. They turned out great. Let us know if you would like to see more demonstrations of the CNC Tag Mini Lathe.